Hey, 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 welcome back to another month of YouTube videos. Um, this is my first project for Kid Ollie Kids for this month, and I am doing a 9 by 12 layout of my daughter's Book Week parade. This year, she dressed up as Frida Kahlo, and last year, the same time, I did a Kid Ollie Kids project doing her Book Week dress up from last year, and so I thought it's perfect to do the same thing this year. Now I'm using that floral red paper that we got in this kit, um, but I also wanted some coordinating red paper just to back onto my photos and I didn't have any. So I decided to make my own by doing some very messy, messy ink smooshing as you can see here. I'm pretty sure this is festive berries or lumberjack plaid. I'm not sure, sorry, uh, which one it is, but we got it in a kit all kit kit at the beginning of the year and I absolutely love it. It's particularly festive. Now I'm just, like you can see, I'm not being neat here. I am just smooshing it around. It's just a background matting piece so it doesn't have to be perfect but I am adding a little bit of texture and interest by splattering some water on the page. Oh, I'm also going to add some sprinkles. This is, um, I believe this is a Dilutions ink spray that I'm going to add some sprinkles to. Some splatter, sorry, not sprinkles. <laughs> um, and I really love how it really soaks into the paint. And yeah, it just creates like such an interesting dimension and depth to the whole layout. Now, moving on to my actual layout. This is actually one 12 by 12 piece of paper that I've cut down and I'm using the floral side as the main element and then I'm going to take this little polka dot red side as like a side piece where my title is going to go and where my journaling is going to go. But I decided to make it interesting and add a little bit of a punched out border, which, uh, and then the edge of that little border, which I've just set aside, I'm going to put that on the other side of the layer just to bring those two sort of horizontal stripes together. So first of all, I'm adding my um, three photos onto some white cardstock, and then I am adding them onto the red cardstock that I have created. Now I actually use this red cardstock a few times throughout this month because it coordinated very well with um, the, the, the red color specifically from this kit. So I was like, that's quite perfect. So I'm sticking that one down and what am I going to do next? I edited these videos a few days ago and I'm only just now voiceovering them. So I actually don't remember what I do in these layouts. So this should be fun for you to listen to. Uh, anyway, next I am going to stick my photos down. I'm going to um and ah a little bit about placement and where I'm going to put everything. Because I want, what I really want to make sure is that the red image is the, because as you can see, I only matted the bigger image on the red. I want that to be the focal point and the other two I want to carry the eye up after the big focal image, if that makes sense. So that's kind of the little layout that I have settled on and then I'm just propping that up on some foam dots and I've sped this up super fast so you don't have to um, watch me doing this in real time because that would be super boring. Now I'm... <clears throat> Sticking that one down, making sure that I leave enough space kind of around the edge in case I want to tuck something under there. Now, I printed my journaling on um, sticker paper, and then ironically, I actually just put it on vellum because you couldn't really see it. But first of all, I'm going in with my title, which is Book Week 2023. I cut this out of my silhouette. I literally just used, um, I think it's American Typewriter maybe, just the font that I have on my computer to type it out, and I liked that it was... A typewriter font because this is book week and it's a story about books so in my head it made sense now I'm using as I always do with this kind of thing I'm using the negative of this uh, cutout to place my letters so that they line up properly and it's a bit tricky because like here you can see it's a bit fiddly but in the end, I am glad that I did that because it lines up so well and I really don't have to think about it too much. Now, this is when I'm going to add my journaling and realize it's going to be too light if I just stick the sticker paper straight on. So first I'm sticking it on vellum and then I'm going to stick it on the background paper, which really meant I could have just printed it on vellum in the first place. But I didn't do that and I wasn't going to print it again, so this was my solution. <laughs> I am cutting that down. What I wish I did as well is maybe stretch that vellum across the top um, so it doesn't have that sort of stark cut off border. But, you know, nothing I can do about that now. Like I said, I wasn't going to reprint it. And then I'm just ad adhering, sticking that on. 
securing that with my tiny uh, attacher. I'm in a bit of a funny mood tonight, can you guys tell? So anyway, um, now it's the fun time to, oh, actually I'm going to, yes, that's the thing. I thought that I was sort of losing the title in that background a bit. It's much busier than I kind of thought it would be when I just looked at it. But when I had the, added the layout, it was clearly quite busy. So I'm outlining my little title with black. Just messily, it didn't have to be too neat because you really can't see it in too much detail. And then I'm going to embellish. And I end up doing like quite minimalist embellishing here. I've got that little flag banner at the top, propping this little flower sticker. And then I'm also putting that on some of the foam dots because obviously that photo is raised down the bottom. Adding a few little tiny word phrases in coordinating colors and sentiments. And then I'm adding I think that's like maybe a, is that a strawberry or something or a flower bud. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm adding that just where my journaling ends on that corner just to cut off that sort of starkness of that edge, which I really don't like. <laughs> um, I wanted to put this little camera there, but it just it felt too chaotic and messy. And so I had fussy cut out those cameras and they are sadly not going to be used in this layout. But I will find a use for them at some point, I'm sure. Uh, adding my date because that's very important. Because I was in a whimsical mood, I added my date to the top and the bottom. I know, she's crazy. And I'm pretty sure that this layout is basically done. I am going to add the beautiful Nouveau drops. Oh, and a little border at the top and the bottom. I am going to add the beautiful Nouveau drops that we got. These are the crystal drops and they are almost trans... They're basically translucent. And so when it dries, it looks like little dew drops on the page. I absolutely love these. They don't add too much and they don't overwhelm the eye but they add a shine and dimension and it just I love them so with that being said I'm pretty sure this layout is done um let's see oh yeah I'm tapping the back of the paper just to make the nouveau drops round out and we're done thank you so much for joining me I will see you next week uh for another design team layout bye